You know what, uh, I have memories. I don't remember exactly, but I have memories. I know my dad has always loved boxing. He, I, he used to watch all the fights and obviously my older brother, my older sisters, they always used to sit, the whole family to watch boxing. But the memory that I know it, it stuck with me was when Salvador Sanchez fought Wilfredo Gomez. I, I, I was like five or six, I think. And I remember, uh, the fight was in Vegas, but uh, my dad took me and my older brother to watch it uh, at closed circuit. So the memory that I have was when, when, when Salvador Sanchez was almost getting, you know, about to knock out uh, Wilfredo Gomez, everybody stood up uh, watching the fight. So my dad carried me in his shoulders so I, so I could see you know, the, the fight, because I was so small that I was, I, I couldn't see. So he put me in his shoulders. So that's, that's like my first boxing memory that I have. You know, after that, I remember him taking us to different gyms in LA. I remember seeing guys like Roberto Duran, uh, Pipino Cuevas in the gym workouts. But a fight was Salvador Sanchez when he beat uh, with Pedro Gomez. That's my, like I said, I was like maybe five or six. That's one of the memories I have. I was already I was already boxing also, so you know I had a few amateur fights when I was five and six and seven, but uh, you know there's not that much memory there. You know I don't know I can't remember much of that those events. I know I fought and I know I I won my first few fights, but there's not much memory. I remember that that in particular when when Salvador Sanchez beat Wilfredo Wilfredo Gomez. <laughs> My name is Robert Garcia. I'm a former professional fighter, former world champion. Uh, my record uh, as a professional fighter is 34 wins, three losses, and 26 by knockout. Here is the defending and undefeated IBF junior lightweight champion of the world, introducing Roberto Grandpa Garcia. You know what, at first, at first I wasn't even planning on doing it. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to, uh, to stay away from boxing. When I had my last professional fight, I was 26 years old. And I was just tired of the sport. I was just sick of it. Uh, it's, it's just so much politics, uh, the diets, uh, the old school training also. All old school training is, is very difficult, you know, having to be in training camp for two or three months. Uh, at that time, I already had my first two two boys, and being away from them, uh, not at, you know there was no cell phones at that time, so no phone calls, you know, no visiting, no nothing. It got to a point where I got I got sick of the sport. So at 26, when I decided to retire, I didn't think I would come back to to boxing at all. You know, I was thinking of maybe take, going back to college, getting some classes, doing something else, but. Uh, there was an opportunity with my dad. Uh, my dad was running, at that time we were still in Oxnard. My dad was running the uh, La Colonia Boxing Club in Oxnard. And uh, he invited me over like a year, two years after my retirement. He just come over to the gym, you know, help me out with some of the kids. So I started volunteering, helping out. Then uh, a couple years later, he, uh, he left, you know, he retired from, the, from working for the city. So he left me that position. So I started working uh, running the La Colonia Boxing Club. 
And at the same time, he also gave me a couple of professional fighters. Uh, one of them is actually working with me right now, my, one of my best friends, Felipe Campa. He was fighting, and another one, Arturo Barraza. They were both fighting professionally, and my dad told me, you know what, I want you to try it out, see how good you are. And those were my first two, two fighters, and uh, I liked it. I liked it. I liked, the, the thing that caught my attention was uh, the traveling. Traveling without having to diet, without having to go to bed on time. You know, when you're fighting, I fight in Japan, I fight in all over the, the United States, but you never enjoy, you don't really enjoy moments because you have to be on a diet, you have to be in bed, you have to, you know, be disciplined. With, uh, with, with being a coach, I don't have to be in bed. I could go out to the bar and have a beer. You know, it was just much different. I could eat whatever I want. So I, I enjoy that. That's, that's the first thing that caught my attention about being a professional boxing trainer. Yeah, oh, Robert is the best out there that I worked with. That um, I mean, to me, he's the best coach in, in the business. But Robert, uh, ever since I got here, he wasn't he wasn't light on me. He put me in spot with uh, professionals right away uh, that had that had records, and he threw me in there, and I had to learn I had to learn the hard way. And um, Robert pushed me to where I need to be, and I'm I'm glad to be here. Joshua Franco, my boxing record is 18, two and three draws. I've been boxing for 13 years now. I met him through my little brother. My little brother um, fought in the tournament and Robert told me to go watch him fight in the tournament. And, uh, it was it was my brother and my other friend Hector. They were both fighting in the same tournament. And then uh, yeah, Pizza liked what he saw with my brother and Hector and um, he, got, he got in touch with them. And uh, my brother told me about, um, or he gave Pizza all my information and I sent him videos over and Check the videos out, and then um, after that, it was they actually they saw and they gave me a call and we met up after that. Pro fighters right now at this time from 10 to about 2 p.m. is all pros. Right, right now we have a group uh, training. Uh, right now, uh, Joshua Franco, who's a world champion, he's getting ready for his next fight uh, June 24th in Tokyo, Japan and he's, he's, he's the one training right now. And the rest of the guys that are training with him at the same time, like three or four other kids, are, are also part of my team, but they're also his prime partners. So they all train together. Then at, at uh, like at 11, 11.30, another group starts coming in with the, big, the, the bigger guys, the lightweight divisions, the, you know, the, just the bigger guys. And then closer to one or 2 p.m., we have our last session with all the, like the big middleweights and, you know, I divide all the, all the, all the guys by, by weight classes. So it was like nine years later is when I retired in 2001. And then it, it took me like a year, year and a half, maybe two years for me to get back to the gym because like I told you, I wanted to stay away from boxing, but my dad invited me and, uh, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed working with the kids at first, but then the professional fighters was what caught my attention. More like the traveling, the enjoying when you go to a different city that you don't know, you know, going out, you know, meeting people. I enjoy that. Well, you know what? At, at this at, at this stage of my life already, I'm 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 48. I uh, I think it's 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 what uh, you know it's 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 my life. You know, it, I I've done it since I was five years old. Since I was a kid, I have memories like I told you, of my dad and you know taking me to watch fights. So it, it's been part of the part of the part of our life since the beginning. You know, my dad, you know, kind of made that grow into us, you know, not only me, but all, my whole family, even my sisters. Every weekend, we're all watching fights together. Every, every, every time we have fights, my dad's traveling with me, going to the fights, you know, and now my kid, my, my oldest son works with me. He's one of my assistant coaches, so he travels with me. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's our life, you know, that, that's, that's our life, you know, we, we, we do it for a living. And, uh, but at the same time, we enjoy it. It's like our work, but not really our work. It's just something that we love to do, you know. Coming to my, coming to the gym is, you know, like, 
sometimes we talk about, you know, my dad always talks about plan your retirement. You guys have, you know, by the time you guys are 60, you guys should already be planning this, that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I've been retired since I was 26. I haven't been doing, I haven't been working uh, to a point where, oh man, I have to go to work. I have, you know, so that that's not work. Going to the gym that, that we, you know, to the, to the to the place where we enjoy every moment of it that's not work you know we've been retired i told him that we've been retired our whole life we do what we love to do we 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 make a living out of it which is it's considered work but if we really put it together it's not work we're just loving it